Well, hello everybody and welcome to what is the opening day of the 16th European Championships. 55 UEFA member states tried their hand at becoming the finest of them all, but now we are left with just 24 who have made it to these finals en route to Wembley. Opening day certainly has a special feel to it, the atmosphere combustible but joyous as we usher in a new era for this competition together with the hopes and aspirations of all that take part. Worth reminding ourselves too that 2020 is the 60th birthday of these championships and it is for that special reason that the competition is being held right across the continent. Is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages one of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world well they have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem now to match it So it is upon us, their opening game, and what they hope will be the first of many fine games in this championship. All I hope is that these nations, as well as the players, of course, can make a good account of themselves. And I also like the fact that such excitement isn't just something that one host country has the monopoly of. It's shared by so many people across the continent, literally, and that certainly created a, an extra special buzz. So it's down to business here. Matuidi. Conte. Pavard. Griezmann. And it's Matuidi. Conte. Matuidi. Good take and he's had a look. Um um Good first touch and almost as good a second. Mbappe brilliantly took control of that, which was exactly what the situation required. The decision making, we can't. He learned from it. The Reds has a hit! Oh, shame, that was nicely worked. Well, there are a few pockets of space that are being exploited and they need filling, and fast. Pogba. And the whistle goes for half-time. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. But still goals. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, Peter, apart from the lack of goals, I really don't think there's there's much to criticise. I think they've got to keep... And that's the start of another 45 minutes. France clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in, in the same manner as the open court, you sleep. Now it's Giroud. Mbappe. Thumped in for the follow-up. It's in. Finally, the deadlock is broken. Giroud at his razor-sharp best there. But for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic.
Checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honor shift. France probably could have killed things off, but they should be okay here. And here's Kroos. And it. Pretty much the ideal start. A win on the first day and a platform on which to build. Your reflections then, Jim. Well, pressure can quickly build on you if a positive result isn't achieved in your opening group match. Instead, they can take great confidence now from a very good victory and look ahead with real belief. Winks, Rose, great strength, too strong for his opponent, and that is that, France have sealed their place in the final and their loyal support is in ecstasy, they head to the big... France are looking here at the chance to become a part of football history. We've had the greater part of a month of endless football. These championships have been full of talking points and debates, and it has been thrilling to be engaged in it. Euro 2020 has been special, memorable, magical for so many reasons. The fans have been unforgettable, as has the drama they have witnessed. It has never stopped giving and as the curtain opens for the very last time, we look forward now to joining in the final chapter. The grandest game in this summer's grand event, and we are thrilled to have you with us for it. This game being played at Wembley Stadium, which is, in the eyes of so very many, the venue as far as football is historically concerned. We stand for the national anthem of France.
So here is how they line up, and nothing can top this moment for either set of players. It is without doubt, Peter, the greatest show we have this summer, and the fact that this is like a celebratory edition too makes it that little bit more special, doesn't it? I've certainly enjoyed it, giving us a, a fair share of just about everything we've come to expect from a competition of this magnitude, and yes, let's hope that it gets the perfect send-off. Well, this is it. Look, we can only hope for a final that will be free-flowing and end-to-end -end and highly entertaining, but fear of defeat can often dominate emotions, so don't be surprised if it gets nervy and tense. Giroud has a hit! He's pulled off a fine save! Giroud sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Gets his head to it! Went with his head, but couldn't steer it in. Bios. And it's Griezmann. It's Griezmann! Goal! France! Could that be the start of something big? Perfect place, but the one place to keep it. You know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through them. That was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Their breakthrough gets away from his opponent. Shot a goal that has certainly tested the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save! Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. It's been taken short. Jordi Alba goes to the cross. Forward it goes. Oh, he's broken through. Giroud. Giroud. It's Giroud! Back of the net! And already they're looking to run away with it. The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement. The certainty of finish. <laughs> Respilicueta. Suso. Morata shoots and the second time it's a goal the second half starts straight into life well that always looked the likely outcome yeah and I think we may have had too many defenders ball watching then because they just lost sight of the real danger
And it's played forward. More than happy to take the muscular approach. And now they can launch a counter. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Nacho. Nacho gets it forward. Thiago gets it back. Thiago not easily shrugged off the ball. He's away. Mbappe. There's a lot of movement going on. There's no shortage of options. So I guess they're looking to play around their opponents as opposed to through them. Yeah, the and the shots! Winter stoppage time, whistle due any moment. Almost there, and the players can feel it. And time is up. France are the conquerors of Europe, winners of the final in a European Championship that has truly delivered. And this is an honour which is truly deserved. What a moment this is for all connected with the team. It's a day for pride, a day for glory. Another grand chapter to be added to their glittering history.